here, I'm just getting out all my tack to get it ready to run. I don't have a trailer that has a tack room in it. So I have just been keeping my saddle in this wagon that I got at Academy. And I have all my other tack in a different place, but I've just been keeping my saddle in my house because it just makes it easier and it's closer to where I used to keep my saddle. First thing I'm going to do is use my strip hair groomer and I forgot to mention the vlog where I'm cleaning my saddle pads with my strip hair groomer that you're supposed to like tilt it at a 45 degree angle and it just helps get more hair and dirt off your saddle pad or horse but this loosens up all the dirt and winter hair off of him and then I will use my curry comb to get the rest of the hair and dirt off of him. putting on my tactical turquoise sedona print bell boots absolutely my favorite print i do have the split boots but we're just riding out in the pasture so i don't wear split boots when we're just riding out in the pasture here i am putting on my five star saddle pad i do have a best ever pad and i'm planning on making a video for you guys to let you know which one i like better i do struggle with my saddle and that is because he is a lot taller than butterfly and it also depends on my momentum of how I swing it on his back. But yeah, I just struggle sometimes. And then here I am getting situated. This is my tactical finish line breast collar, which includes the headstall also. I also have the split boots and bell boots, but I'm saving those for when I start hauling him. And here I'm getting them all cinched up. I don't pull it real tight at first. I have it really loose right now. And I will tighten it up before I get on him. And then his back cinch was a little hard to get up on pretty tight because he was blown out really bad like he always does. He has gotten a little chunky because he is out on the pasture during the day. And right now I've done decided that he is going to be staying in his little pen that he stays in at night. But it's big enough to where he can run and walk in it. And I like that a lot. So he'll be staying in that so we can kind of manage his weight while I exercise him and just get ready to start hauling him.
So I do have two bits that I use on him and the one that I'll be using now is I use it for when I do slow work on the barrel pattern or if I just want to go have a chill ride out in the pasture. My other one has a nose band on it and that is the one I'll be using when I take him to barrel races. It's more of his competition bit. So I do use a stool when I get on him. He is a little bit taller than Butterfly, so it just makes it easier on me. Eventually, I'm going to get rid of it, but for now, I'm going to continue to use my stool. And here I am just cinching up the cinch so I can get ready to ride. first get on him I flex him from both sides to make him listen to me and when I feel like he does so we'll ride off and my spur does poke him a little bit right here on accident and I pat him right here and tell him I'm sorry. First we start off by walking but he was ready to go right here. I will trot both ways for two minutes and then we'll lope both ways but my video where didn't get me going the other way loping so you'll just get one way loping this time.
hope you like this video and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit that notification button so then when i do post new videos you will get notified so until next time god bless